Today is finally the day we begin our road trip through some of Europe. But first we have to start like a public transit trip of about an hour and a half, which I believe includes two different metro trains, a bus, and then some footsteps. That's close. Oh, okay. Oh. It's not close. Oh. 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 Ten stops. Here we go. One down. Yeah. Only 16 stops and we're there. Walk on the side of a highway because I accidentally missed our stop. Oh, no. I need possible driving license and credit card. I need the original driving license, not that one. Mm, I don't have the driver's license. And I have a photo of the driver's license. No, can't do without the original. The picture is enough, it's not enough. So we got here about two hours after we started getting on metros and we supplied them with an international driver's license, passport, picture of our license from the United States. And they're saying that they will not accept that. And we told them it will be three hours before we can come back. And now they want to charge us an additional 71 euros for a pickup after six o'clock. So we were calling the main office to try to figure out what we can do. So this is the van we will not be getting tonight. Uh, they will not accept any form other than the in-person card of my driver's license. We are SOL tonight. We have to take a $50 Uber ride back home because we can't even get tickets to the bus at this point. But there's just simply nothing we can do at this point. They're not willing to work with us in any way, shape or form. So. Might look like a van, but it's not. <laughs> We're back in our hotel room. Luckily, they weren't sold out. I yeah, we are lucky. I don't know if that was like a possibility or not, but that would have sucked even more. Yeah. We tried to... Uh, we tried to do the impossible. We tried to get an Uber during a rush hour back to the hotel and then go back, which is basically what it would have cost for us to come back now and spend the night. So we're out about $120 just from the Uber and the hotel room tonight. Not to mention they don't refund us for the camper van. For the night we used. For the night we didn't, didn't use. use. <sighs> Tomorrow is a new day. One where we hopefully have a camper van with us. See you tomorrow. All right, it is 7.04 a.m. the very next day. We are going to give this a second shot. We have taken every form of ID we could possibly ever be asked for. So we have about an hour and a half from our hotel here to get back there. And that's if we hit all the trains and buses on time. Yes. Lots of traffic on the bus ride and it took us from all the trains and buses two hours to get here and we got off on the right bus stop this time. That was nice. Well, actually, yesterday the bus driver just didn't stop at the right one. So they stopped at the right one today. We're walking up the hill and crossing our fingers that we can actually have a camper van we paid for. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So far, so good. We're just getting everything ready and it took all the paperwork. All I had to do was take a picture of ID and that's why we couldn't get last night. But this guy's nice and he's helpful and he's gonna show us how to actually travel by van because we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> you ready? I don't have a choice. Oh, it's so high. Yep. Good job. Woo, first left turn. <laughs> first turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but left turns are hard on busy streets. First impressions, the manual shift, very responsive, that's good. No rear view your camera, which kind of makes me nervous because you really can't see anything back there. But it's pretty fun to drive. It's powerful, so that'll be good. I don't know if we're gonna drive through hills. Literally, so let's hope this thing is automatic. 
I have no idea either. I can't drive manual as confidently as Nate can. Also, it's raining and like he said, that's the view from the back. I am terrified of this mill. It's at a quarter of a tank, we need to fill it up. Thankfully it's diesel, but it's still 157 a liter. I have a feeling it has a fairly big tank. There are 3.785 liters in a gallon. We can't get gas here. I think it's like AMPMs in the States, so you can only use certain types of cards and ours do not work. So you told us just to go farther ahead. But now I actually know how to fill up the tank, so good practice round. It's okay. Can you maybe oh, it killed the it. wrong way? No way, really? I don't know how to reverse. This is bad. Okay, it says reverse, right? Uh -huh. Oh, I got it. <laughs> maybe? No, I didn't get it. I just rolled back. Oh my gosh, stay up. Okay. I don't know how to put this thing in reverse, so Alicia's going to get, I also don't know how to work the windshield wipers apparently. Alicia's going to get us some breakfast at McDonald's. It's become kind of a road trip tradition for us, but I'm staying in the car to try to figure out how to put this thing in reverse because we had to pay for parking because I didn't know how to go in reverse and go to the regular parking lot. Nothing, I think I'm just gonna have to mess around with this. See, it says reverse here, and then normal gears, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Not used to having a sixth gear that was new, but I noticed on the dash it said shift, so, but I can't. Like, I can't get it to go anywhere. It's just first through six, and I know I'm doing something wrong. All right, I, I give, I'm just gonna like turn it on and try again and hope that. How'd it go? Oh my God, McDonald's. <laughs> The adventures continue here. We can't get this van in reverse, so we're gonna take it back to the rental company, but we also really can't get a late checkout. It's 11.30, they gave us 12.30, but they said beyond that, they can't help us. And our rear door sensor just stays on, even though it's closed. Does it still say rear door? No. Okay, one problem fixed. Now we're working on the second. Nate thinks he just figured out the reverse situation. We're halfway back to the rental place. We're in dead stop traffic. I'm trying to figure out a way to test this before we get all the way back. There's no exits right now. I think you do this. I think it's the case. Yeah, baby. Never would have ever guessed. But you did. We got it. Back in business. Yeah. We will get there at 12.25. Jeez. It's 12.30, back at the hotel. Parking here, hope it's okay. Sure, if our car can fit through this. Good job. Okay, we're literally back at the same McDonald's slash gas complex we were earlier, and this time there's an attendant that is getting gas for us, but we pay after. And so far, we've had no success in our cards, but he seems to be okay with the card we have, and the bill is running up as we speak. Super exciting. Yeah, look at that. Euros, that is. Yep. All right. Thank you. Gracias. For me. Sí. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. We always tip. He was definitely surprised though. 113 euros. We're never getting a van. <laughs> no, not in Europe.
Oh my god. Fancy. We are finally on the way. We left our hotel this morning at 7 a.m. It is now 1.30 p.m. and we are officially on the road with no sure destination for the trip today, but I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I just want to move the seat up and I have elevated my seat. I'm not even sure I can push the clutch in. I feel like a little kid again where I can not touch the ground. Do you want me to pull it? Are you rolling me up? Yeah, this feels great. Look at all those sheep. There's so many. Officially out of Rome and its craziness. And now we are in the beautiful Tuscan Italian countryside. So far, driving has been incredible and I'm so happy we're doing it during the day. If we had picked up the car last night, all of this would have been in the dark and the color of the leaves is amazing and all these towns are up on raised pedestals. It's beautiful and awesome and everything you expect in Italy in the fall. Foggy. Okay, it's better. Good job. Oh. Oh, that is so sad. Are you okay back there? <laughs> I insisted that she talk about her first bathroom experience. And she came back here and just right here crushed it. Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Me. <laughs> this is the first P. This is an important moment. Success. Kind of. I don't know if we used it right. But I peed. My head hurts though. Yeah. Yeah, you got a pretty nice bump right there. It's gonna be okay though. <laughs> well, it's actually a bump. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Man, I've had worse. For sure. Good. Good. It is almost time for sunset, although we won't be seeing much of a sunset tonight. It's been on and off drizzling all day, which has put a bit of a damper on the day, but the forecast is looking up over the next couple days and hopefully it's going to be sunny. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes until we get to our resting place for the night. Very excited to figure out how this entire van works crash course. <sighs> this might be <laughs> this might be the funniest thing I've seen all day. The van we got is massive, but we really had no context until right now. Look how big it is compared to this little car. <laughs> Let's see how much battery we have. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, oh shoot, it says the power sockets only work when hooked up to an external power source. Really? Oh, there's lights in here now. Oh yeah, we got water. It's everywhere. We're getting settled into the van. It's very tight quarters, but it's pretty cool to unload all our groceries and figure out how to put it somewhere where it won't break while I drive.
We waste no time in making messes of places. This is just one example of many. It's like 6.30 in the morning. It's still very dark outside, but we're gonna get up for sunrise. I'm gonna take the first shower. I'm a little nervous because we're a little bit like this and the, the train's over here. Our first night of van life is over and it went surprisingly well. We booked a pretty quiet place so we didn't have any disturbances all night, although anytime I heard anything I was pretty scared. As for the actual bed, it's what you'd expect. It's pretty hard, but we fit. I was surprised. It's width-wise instead of length-wise, so I thought we were going to be a little squished and it didn't turn out too bad. I was able to stretch out full length and not have leg cramps all night, which was nice. Did wake up a couple of times because it was pretty cold, but the heater worked and we were able to turn it up a little bit in the middle of the night and get a good night's sleep. All right, I finished my shower. It's a little claustrophobic and I thought the shower curtain just covered the door, but it actually goes all around. Like that. It's kind of freaky, but it works. And I don't think I use too much water because our water levels are still sound. We're dividing duties this morning, so I am cooking breakfast. What do you want? Some eggs? Scrambled or fried? Scrambled. Okay, coming right up. Onions? And tomatoes? For the first time, I didn't burn something. For the first time? For the first time. <laughs> when I cooked on it. Whew. First breakfast is uh, under my belt and it looks good. I hope it tastes good. Cooking in the van for the first time was simple. It's a small space, but Alicia was in bed. I was here working. Uh, I just cut everything up on the table here because we don't have the pull out counter space, which we thought we had, but we may do. It was fine used a butter knife mostly. And then cooking on the gas stove was really nice. I thought it was electric at first, but it is gas. And that's good because it doesn't take up all of our battery, which is already very low. And it just cooks a lot nicer. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So nice to have a home cooked meal again. It has been way too long since we had a nice hot breakfast that we cooked, not from I know we won't be staying in places this beautiful every single night, but I can't stop looking around the van and looking at this beautiful vineyard that we're eating breakfast in. It's distracting in the best way possible. Well, that's a view. And then you just look out the back here. That's the view from bed. Uh, the dish situation is pretty good. You kind of have to use all areas of the kitchen as well. I set the dirty dishes over here and can only have a few in here. 
and then I use this, like I use our stove top as like a drying rack because that's all we have. Yesterday we ended up driving 275 kilometers. Our average for the whole trip is supposed to be 100 a day. So errands have a lot of kilometers attached to them. We also used about three eighths of our tank, which I'm gonna calculate now to see how much that cost us. It cost us 50 euros yesterday for gas. It's about 16, 17 euros per eighth of gas. So we can use that moving forward as a measurement. We know tons of people in the US that do van life and we've heard about Harvest House where you can stay on vineyards or farms in exchange for purchasing something from their restaurant or their bar or their wine cellar. They don't have that exactly here, but there's an app called Park for Night that essentially gives you similar options. There are a farm and vineyard option where you can do the exact same thing. And that is what we chose for our very first night of van life here at Salcetto Wine House. When we got in last night, they were already closed. And I don't know if they're open yet, but we're trying to get a bottle of wine before we head out just in exchange for a free parking spot for the night. There was no hookups or anything, but a gorgeous view and nice and peaceful and quiet. Mm -hmm. You're just hoping to buy a bottle of wine. Yes, of course. Yes, we are. Wonderful. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. And thank you for letting us stay. It was so beautiful. <laughs> it is officially 24 hours in the van for us. It's crazy. It went by so fast. It really did. But the first 24 hours have truly been great and full of just... So much learning. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. <laughs> Uh, but I think we've got a good handle on it so far. We'll learn what we don't know very soon if we haven't. <laughs> uh, but we hope you enjoyed this first impression of van life with us. If you did, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passport with us again. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video with plenty more van adventures coming up. Tons. And hopefully ones where I can see beyond the sun. I can't I am see. squinting <laughs> so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's that thing where you say like, no need to say, we're definitely not going the fastest? Needless to say. Needless to say, there we go. <laughs> what happened? I signed my pants. How? It was pointed like this. Like, you just look out every window and there's, wow, this is a terrible take. <laughs> <laughs>